Have you read The Monkey's Paw? It's a parable, a horrifying one. If you haven't read it, the premise is quite simple. Whoever owns the monkey's paw is granted three wishes. They all come true, but at an, at an enormous price, almost hellish consequences. Now, this is just a children's story, but now real-life monkey's paw is taking shape. I'm talking about weight loss drugs, specifically the injections manufactured by Novo Nordisk. You'll see why. Novo Nordisk is a Danish healthcare company worth over $400 billion. Today, it is Europe's most valuable company. Thanks to two drugs, Vigavi, which is a weight loss drug, it's currently available in Europe and America, and Ozempic, it treats type two diabetes, but it's widely used for weight loss too. It is approved in Europe, America, Canada, Japan, China, and Australia. In the past year, these drugs have become household names. For starters, they have a lot of takers. In 2020, 2.6 billion people worldwide were overweight or obese. That's 38% of the global population. By 2025, more than half the world's population will be overweight or obese. That's more than 4 billion people overweight. But many don't use these drugs for medical reasons. They use them for cosmetic purposes. Influencers and celebrities swear by these weight loss jabs like tech mogul Elon Musk. And former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, even actor Amy Schumer. Celebs have heavily endorsed these drugs. The hype is real, so much so that there are global shortages. So this gold rush for weight loss drugs has birthed a lucrative black market. Pharmacies are getting fake ingredients of the drugs, they're mixing them up and then selling them to the patients. Some pharmacies are directly calling beauty salons to trap customers looking to shed a few kilos. Where there's a problem, it seems social media has a role to play. Influencers are promoting and selling fake drugs on Instagram, but these fakes come with real world consequences. As the demand surges, so do trips to hospitals. In July, a woman in Scotland injected a fake weight loss drug, a fake, fake weight loss jab. She woke up paralyzed. Last month, after using fake Ozempic drugs, a number of people in Austria had life-threatening seizures. Just this year, Austria, Germany, the UK, Belgium, and Australia seized counterfeit weight loss drugs. So what are their governments doing about it? They've opened investigations, but the black market remains unregulated. And what does Novo Nordisk have to say about this? It says, and I'm quoting, falsified Ozempic pens should not be used. Quite the solution, we say. It also says one can know the difference between real and fake drugs by using a scale indicator and a dose selector. That's helpful. But let me ask you this. Do you know what these devices are? Do you have a scale indicator at home? How about a dose selector? This argument is in bad faith. Leave alone counterfeits. How safe are real Ozempic and Vigavi medicines? Just look at the side effects. Diarrhea, constipation, hair loss, bleeding, blistering. Side effects of suicidal thoughts are also being investigated. Novo Nordisk says, there aren't enough details to determine what happened. These are their words, not enough details. Again, a lukewarm response. But then again, what do you expect? This company is getting rich despite people suffering from suicidal thoughts. In the past five years, their share price is more than quadrupled. Sales of Ozempic and Vigavi are soaring from $16 billion last year to $21 billion this year. So where has the blame shifted? On the buyers. But you see, many people don't really have an option. For obese patients, science does not have many answers. Obese patients can choose from four types of treatments. A healthy diet and exercise, which do not guarantee results. Then there is surgery, which is a worst case scenario. The fourth option is a weight loss drug. There are many kinds, but Vigovi and Ozempic give the best results so far. So it's a catch-22 situation, let alone the dearth of treatments. Scientists do not even know what causes obesity. Every few years, they butt their heads. Each time, there is no consensus. But doctors do agree on one thing. Obesity is not a personal responsibility issue. It is not the result of personal choice. 
neither is the decision to go for weight loss jabs. This is a societal challenge, a product of policy failure. It has bred a monkey's paw that hovers over this epidemic of obesity. And until we see it that way, magic hacks and bad policies will continue to haunt us.